up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Now nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. And if you um got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email. Also, we got the TKO debate series back on and popping. It's back and running. We're going to be scheduling debates. We got a fire ass debate coming to y'all this week, Thursday night, between Southern T Boxing and Sports and Neek J um, on David Benavidez and Caleb Plant. And we're scheduling more. Um, and we're going to try to bring y'all the biggest and best debate. So if you want to participate in that as a debater, a judge, whatever, Knockoutbox86 at yahoo.com is my email. Now, um, oh, and live shows, you know, we live Wednesday and Thursday night, 7 30 p.m. Central Time. Also, live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let, let's get it popping, bro. Let's get it popping. It's fight prediction time. We're doing like eight or nine predictions for y'all this week. Our channel members are going to get the predictions first, as always. So if you want ex access to exclusive content, please be sure to uh, join the channel as a member um, and, 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 you know, support the channel that way, man, if, if you got, if you find it in yourself to do so. But in this one, we got an eight-round, 147-pound fight between the young man out of Georgia, Brian Norman Jr. versus Rodrigo Correa. Um, this one is going to be Brian Norman Jr. first fight under the top-ranked promotion. Very excited for that young man um, to see what he can do because you got a lot of people that say a lot of great things about him. Now, Brian Norman Jr. is 22 years old. He's an orthodox fighter, five foot eight. With a 72-inch reach out of Georgia, 22 wins, no losses, 19 wins by way of knockout. Rodrigo Correa, 23 years old, southpaw fighter, five foot ten out of Argentina, 10 wins, four losses with two wins by way of knockout. Um, and, and, and you know, let's get to it, man. Brian Norman Jr. Look, man. Um, first with Rodrigo Correa. I like this opponent for Brian Norman Jr. Number one, out of Argentina, he's very tough, never been stopped before. He ain't gonna run. He's gonna give Brian Norman Jr. a good look at a southpaw. Um, and he's going to try to catch and counter a lot of Brian Norman Jr. shot. He's really good at letting you get your left hook off if you're an orthodox fighter and trying to fire that right hook right behind it. Um, he's not going to run. He got pretty good footwork, but he's going to stand in there with you, and he's going he gonna to bang it out with you, and he's going to throw shots with you. He's not going to let you just – he ain't just going to go to high guard and let you act like you're hitting a heavy bag. He's going to try to offer up some resistance. So I want to see what Brian Norman Jr.'s defensive responsibility is looking like when he letting go of them shots because Correa will try to hit him in between those shots. And if he gets something through there, he ain't got the greatest power. But I, I do want to see how Brian Norman Jr. react to it. Um, and so that that's Rodrigo Correa in a nutshell. He there to fight. Um, typical tough Argentina fighter. Um, pretty good with catching and counter spe countering specifically out of the high guard, catching your shit and trying to um, trying to throw your right throw that right hook counter. Uh, right behind your your um your hook or your jab that you throw as a um as a southpaw like that's that's what he's looking to do that's what he's pretty good at okay with moving around the ring he knows how to pivot and knows how to do those things but not extraordinary footwork um not extraordinary you know ain't about, about to turn you a bunch of times and shit um if you if you're able to get a hold of him but just a good solid opponent good veteran fighter that's never been stopped that we gonna see if Brian Norman Jr. is the dog that he is, that, that people say he is, and if he got the power that a lot of people say that he got. But Brian Norman Jr., he got this reputation as a big puncher, and it's more so because of what people say about him in sparring. Apparently, he went out to Philly, gave Jerron Boots in it some good work. Apparently, he done whooped Bud Crawford ass in sparring. Apparently, he done did some great work and, and, and did some things with Javante Tank Davis in sparring. So he got all these sparring wars and, 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 and things that people say about him. From the film that I have seen, there's not much out there on YouTube. From the film that I have seen, the couple of fights that I was able to find, that I was able to watch. He's a very aggressive fighter. Fights good behind um, behind his jab, but he he is going to be in there with you. He got his feet planted, and he's looking to throw bombs. And he's good at getting his head off the line when he tries to throw them. But he does leave himself open to be countered, leave himself open for people to um, work in between his shots. So I want to see what that defensive responsibility looking like. And the main thing I want to see is what that power is looking like. Because as I study for this fight prediction, study Brian Norman Jr., I see a lot of 2 and 17, 7 and 68, 5 and 33, 3 and 7s, and just a bevy of opponents with huge losses, 
and been knocked out multiple times. His most recent knockout, the guy had already been knocked out eight times. The knockout before that, the guy had already been knocked out four times. So I want to see against a, a fighter like Coria if that power translates to guys that are tough, guys that ain't never been stopped before. So in the regard of durability, this is a step up in competition for Brian Norman Jr. This is where we get to find out if that 22-0, 19 KOs, if that's a byproduct of him really being a dog and a puncher like that, or if that's a byproduct of maybe the resume being padded a little bit, as a lot of guys are early in their career. But for Brian Norman Jr., although he's only 22 years old, he already got 22 fights. So it's time for top rank to tr see what they got in him by signing him and see if they can ratchet up the level of competition and, and, and kind of see what they got if he's going to be a top flight contender. He's in a tough division for, for prospects. I mean, he's at 147. So the prospects at 147 right now, you got Jerron Boutinis, who's graduated just now from prospect to contender, and you got Virgil Ortiz Jr. Like, you you in there with some blue chip or cream, cream, cream de la creme, top shelf um, level prospects. So that's what I'm looking for. I fully anticipate Brian Norman Jr. to win this fight. I'm looking to see how real that power is at 147 because he's coming up from 140. He done had a couple of fights at 147, but he's a big young man. And he's, uh, I mean, and so we'll, we'll see what that power looking like against a durable dude that's big and strong, maybe not as skilled, not as athletic, but somebody that's going to be there that's going to test Brian Norman Jr. I want to see what that stoppage looking like. I want to see if he's going to get in there and do this guy, how people say that he be doing people in sparring, and then that's how we know we got one, right? So I, I can't wait for this fight. It's going to be on the top rank card. I'm going to pick Brian Norman Jr., obviously, and I'm going to say that he passes the test with flying colors. I'm going to say he gets the stoppage in this fight somewhere between round five and round six is my official pick. I like the way that he goes to the body. I like how he fights in the pocket. When he get inside on you, bro, he ain't trying to hold. He ain't trying to grab. He trying to break you down, and he trying to hit you with nasty power shots. Specifically, the way he dipped that head and throw that overhand right on the inside, I really love that. And I love the left hook work down to the body that he does. Those are his two key punches, in my opinion. We'll see um, how, he, how, how he looks in this fight. But I got Brian Norman Jr. via stoppage between round five and round six. Let me know who you picking down below in the comment section. Comment down below, smash my like, sub to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 at Yahoo. I mean, at, at KOBoxing86 TV. And then if you got a, a breakdown or a prediction, or if you're looking to join the TKO Debate Series, you can hit my email, knockoutboxing86 at Yahoo.com. And y'all know we live Wednesday and Thursday nights at 730. And then we also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.